What's up, Internet? Brandon here. With Jimmy. And we have Trailer Trash Talk. Uh, what's this one? This is Nick Cage. And I love Nick Cage because if you've ever seen that YouTube video of him getting phone calls from his agent. and yeah. That's actually, that's uh, his agent is played by Matt McCarthy, who is one of my favorite people in the world. He yes. does a wrestling podcast that I love. That is one of my favorite skits. So uh, anytime mind. there's a Nick Cage movie, it's like, I'm going to watch this trailer because that dude will just say yes to everything. Well, I will say, I felt like there was a time where it was like, he had really good movies, and then there was so much of him because yeah. he said, I think he like publicly said, I'm starring in everything I can because he had to, he owed taxes. Or whatever, oh, yeah. So he's paying all this money. And I felt like everyone was kind of like worn out a little or wasn't into it because like knowing was kind of a, he had a, yeah. He had a slew of movies that didn't seem the best. Yeah. But then all of a sudden, like there was this upswing and everything he's been in has been so much good, like so good because you can, it's either just fun or it turns out he's, he's a very, very, very good dramatic yeah. actor when he gets these, these and he can movies and roles. Go back and forth and bop around. And, and yeah. I think he's back on that swing of like, guys, Nicolas Cage yeah. kicks ass. Well, and there's, there's ones like I still haven't seen Renfeld, but. Renfield, I thought that's what I mean. He, he, he I wanted really to see that. Good. Like Mandy was, was yep. re- very great. Um, Renfield was good, but you can tell he's just having fun. Was the one where he's playing himself. That was outstanding. Yeah. The unbearable weight of massive talent, I think. So, yeah. Something like that was so, but that's what I'm saying. Like if he's having fun, you can tell now. And yeah. I think that might've been the thing with those movies that were kind of not flops. Is he was doing it just to get a paycheck. Yeah. And now that he's like, there was just an A24 movie uh, that came out that was uh, supposed to be a really good, like, feel good drama with him. Uh, but everything he's been doing has yeah. been great. So, yeah. What is this one called? You've. I believe it's called Long Legs. It's serial killers and Nicolas Cage, and we like to support our local Las Vegans. So. I was like, don't say we local go. serial killers. Well, Dexter. <laughs> he's not local. Like to support our local serial killers. He's in Miami. Damn it. That's not Las Vegas. There's one day a year for 20 minutes. Music's got me. Yeah, I'm here for this. I haven't seen Nicholas Cage once. Okay. Yeah, that seems unsettling. I'm here for that. Uh, that's kind of impressive. Yeah. For not really showing much, not doing much. No, like I really building like... up a lot of... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, good on the people that made that trailer. Like I said, I think he's really made... Like, now that he's gotten past, you know, whatever he was doing, like, yeah. he's making really good decisions with his his movies, and this could be another great one. Well, I think that's... He's reached that point in his life. I mean, he's obviously... He's got an Academy Award, so whatever. Like, he's made money. All right, whatever. Call it, man. So he can do whatever he wants, yeah. basically. And, okay. and, and he has been, and yeah. it's been paying off. So, I'm yeah, dude, I'm here for that. Yeah.